We are here to talk about the procedural guidelines of Genuine Italian Vegetable Tanned Leather Consortium. I know that the President, Mr. Volpi, has just a few minutes to salute you, so I invite him to have his speech. Good morning to everybody. Uh, I am very happy to stay here to present the, our new regulation with the ISHEC cooperation and uh, with the in linea pelle, that's uh, in, in any case is the most important show in, in the world, uh, in the world leather. Unfortunately, I have a meeting in my stand now, so Barbara, uh, our director, we're talking to you uh, about uh, all this uh, uh, re new regulation. Thank you, bye. Okay, so we are with Barbara Mannucci, the director of the consortium, that can introduce you the nature of the consortium and uh, the work they are doing. Okay, so good morning. Today we are here to talk about vegetable tan leather. Um, leather and leather making in Tuscany is a very old tradition and going back through the centuries through the centuries already in the middle ages in florence uh, it was a very flourishing activity uh, recognized uh, uh, among the guilds of arts and crafts um, in fact the foundation of the arte de Coyai and galigai so the guild of leather makers uh, dates back to 1282 this corporation brought together uh, the master craftsmen in Florence at that time who practiced the art of tanning and um, the production was uh, regulated by uh, an art statute that detailed all the phases of the manufacturing process and provided that the production was controlled by inspectors directly in the workshops of the artisans. So since then and up to mm, the 1900s, uh, the most widespread type of tanning, not only in Tuscany, but uh, everywhere in the world, I would say, was precisely vegetable tanning. Um, then uh, the, mine the mineral tanning came, uh, which uh, for various reasons um, took over. But in Tuscany, still today, uh, we have tanners who carry on this uh, ancient tradition with uh, passion and pride. So for those unfamiliar with this type of tanning, uh, just a few words about the tanning agents uh, that we use to make this leather. And we are talking about tannins. Um, tannins are natural extracts of vegetable origin, uh, usually powders, extracted from trees with uh, uh, um, high tanning power, such as chestnut, uh, mimosa, and quebracho. These three are the main extract used. So the Tuscan uh, vegetable leather tanners in 1994 founded the, the, uh, a consortium and a, an association um, that uh, um, would represent them and help them to preserve and promote Tuscan vegetable tan leather in the world. Today, today uh, there are 20 associated tanneries. Uh, all of them are Tuscan tanneries, of course, and uh, all of them produce vegetable tan leather according to the whole Tuscan method. So here you can see uh, the, the complete list of uh, the um, uh, consortium members. And uh, uh, you can find them also uh, here at Linea Pelle. Uh, all of them are, uh, have their um, company stands in the old th 13 and 15. So, um, The consortium um, 
the, 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 the mission of the consortium is uh, to um, protect the, um, the, the Tuscan tradition of uh, uh, vegetable tanning, to regulate its production and to promote the product of these uh, Tuscan tanneries on an international scale. In uh, 2009, the consortium created a product trademark to identify the production of these Tuscan tanneries. The trademark is registered in Italy and abroad, and uh, its use is reserved to the members of the consortium. Uh, the logo design um, embodies all the fundamental principles uh, of our production philosophy. Uh, so the handprint is a, a symbol of the craftsmanship of the product uh, and the name um, contains the keywords that define what and where so vegetable tanning and Tuscany together with the brand um, a guarantee certificate has been made available to the customers of our associated tanneries in the form of a tag um, to hang on their finished products uh, which guarantees the final consumer about the task and origin and the quality of the leather which the product is made of. So each warranty tag has uh, an identification code uh, that allows the traceability of the product and uh, of the leather um, it has been made with. Therefore, the task and vegetable tan leather logo is a product trademark that guarantees that the hides are tanned with vegetable extracts, that the entire manufacturing process from raw hide to finished leather takes place in Tuscany, and that the production process is regulated by the production specification that all the tanneries belonging to the consortium undertake to respect. The first audition uh, of uh, this production specification was published in 2010 and was focused uh, on the characteristics and quality of the product. Uh, in order to use the consortium logo, uh, Tuscan Vegetable Tan Leather, uh, the leathers of the associated tanneries had to comply with a series of chemical and physical parameters to be produced in, and to be produced in a specific geographical area. Uh, Tuscany. After 10 years, um, we decided to make uh, a step forward and certify, in addition to the product, also the processes and the management systems of our associated tanneries. So, um, so in 2021, and you, as, as you saw before, we released the, the second edition of the consortium specification, which is a very complete document that touches uh, many different issues about sustainability. Um, and uh, we uh, carried out this, um, this work in collaboration with ECEC. And, um, Mm, it has been uh, quite complex and uh, and quite long, but mm, finally, uh, this is the result, and um, we are uh, um, happy about this result because uh, in a relatively short time, um, we can bring our associated tanneries um, to. Um, um, to, to, the, mm, to the level of offering um, guarantees to their customers um, in, and guarantees that are certified by ECEC, by an independent third party um, institution. And so uh, this specification is a complete package uh, that defines the raw material, the type of tanning, the place of production, and regulates the, um, the product, and, but also the, um, the management system of our tanneries. Uh, so, um, 
I, I think that um, in, it's better now if uh, Sabrina Frontini, the director of ICEC, uh, talk about the technical contents of these documents because uh, she is uh, for sure more competent than me in these uh, technical issues. So um, I'm glad. I'm glad to uh, give her the floor. Um, I just want to, to remind that uh, the um, vegetable uh, tan leather um, specification is available online on our website. And uh, I thank you for your attention. Okay, Sabrina, so we have uh, a guidelines, but that those, these guidelines is verified by IJEC, the Italian Institute of Certification of the Quality of Leather. Can you explain us what do you do for, uh, for the tanneries that participate to the consortium? Okay, thank you very much, Barbara and Roberto, for your uh, introduction. Yes, for sure, it's not uh, more um, possible to have only self-declaration, but uh, we need that uh, the contents of these uh, disciplinary can be certified, can be controlled. And this is the reason why they asked ICEC to be the body of certification that can uh, check uh, all the uh, associated members on the contents of the protocol. And um, as we told before, sorry if I stand up, but so I can see the slides. <laughs> um, the contents of this um, protocol are composed by two steps. The first one is related to product and uh, um, the requirements are related to the kind of tanning, which is the vegetable one, the made in, which is in this case not only in Italy but, but in Tuscany, so it is more restrictive, and the uh, origin of the hides, so the raw material traceability. And it's very important because it's a requirement that now is uh, uh, a need of um, the market uh, to be to be known, uh, so um, it's important that uh, this uh, um, technical regulation includes also the traceability of uh, raw materials. And then the step two is made by management system requirements, uh, covering the environmental laws, the social laws, uh, and the social um, occupational health and safety laws, which are the three main pillars that. Uh, are required in each kind of qualification of the supply chain. The, li the time limit of this qualification is one year. They started uh, last year in June and uh, we expect that they can complete the work within uh, the end of uh, the summer. So it's a very short time to, to qualify all the associated members, but it's, uh, so it's a very strong and important work. The frequency of our audit are uh, uh, biannual, so every 24 months we control, we check all the associated members. And the uh, check and release of the certificates uh, is by the ICEC uh, deliberating committee. Um, this guarantees that we can do this kind of uh, um, deliberation with impartiality, independence and competence. The final trademarks will be twice. The first one is the logo of the consortium, which is the hand that represents uh, artisanality, and it is released at the end of the step one, which is related to the product certification. While the sustainability logo released by ICEC, which is the circular uh, one that you can see in this slide, is uh, um, released to all the associated members all, only at the end of the second step, when they have uh, covered all the system management system requirements. So at the end they will have two kinds of logo that can use for commercial and technical uh, communication. Mm, some information I can add on their specific requirements on product. The first one is the vegetable tanning. The technical specification is added to their uh, disciplinary and includes a requirement that uh, are uh, from the standard referred to vegetable tan leather, the UNI 10885 standard, and the UNI EN 15987 standard, which are the vegetable 
tanning leather standard of referment, and then the consortium added also more stringent and additional requirements uh, in this uh, specification. And uh, we can see in this slide uh, a sort of facsimile for chemical tests, chemical tests, which includes, for example, um, characteristic related to chromium, to the presence of metallic substances, and all these substances uh, shall be under some limits that you can see in the technical specification. Another requirement, the made in, the origin of the phases of production, all these phases, not only the substantial one of uh, uh, retanning, dyeing, and fat liquoring, but also the tanning and the finishing of the leather shall be done all in Tuscany. So this kind of marks guarantees that all the production, starting from the raw materials to the finished leather, is all made in Tuscany. It's another important requirement. And the third one is related to traceability. So they have to collect the data of on uh, the origin of purchased, uh, purchased hides, paper documents or physical marks on the ladder. The origin is the place where the animals has been slaughtered and the uh, self-declaration are not accepted. They have to collect the data for the 12 months. Uh, this data shall be verifiable and at the end they have a score rating from zero to 100 that represents uh, the degree of control that the dandery has uh, on this kind of information. So it's a very complete uh, work uh, on product, on the product side. And the step uh, number two is related to management system. In, in this case, uh, um, we do an, aud an audit on site in each uh, company to check the management of legislative compliance related to environmental, social, and health and safety commitments. This kind of qualification shall be considered at the base of any kind of qualification process. In fact, uh, if a tannery wants to do an ISO standard certification, we always start with this kind of check, with the compliance of the legislative requirements. The requirements in this case are related and covers all the employees, all the production sites, all the activities, and the laws and regulations are the one in force that are applicable, applicable on each kind of topics. So to end my short presentation, we can for sure say that this is a, a work which can be considered complete because we touch all the sustainability topics. It's a work that is very inclusive because they uh, involve all the associated members of the consortium. And it is also efficient because in within one, one year, only one year, we can have all the associated members qualified on the topic of sustainability. So it's a very good, great, and complete work. Okay, thank you, Sabrina. I have just one question for Barbara. Uh, you are asking to your uh, associated tanneries to go through a uh, quite hard job. Uh, are they happy with that? Uh, of course, um, it's not easy for them because, uh, um, how to say, following um, and preparing for a certification is. Um, it's, it's a commitment, but um, we had various meetings with uh, with all the associated tanneries, and uh, all of them uh, were um, were um, conscious of the fact that uh, market today requires uh, guarantees, and so um, even if uh, we know how we work, we know. Um, how, how our product is made, um, this is not enough. I mean, auto-certification is, uh, is not a thing at the moment. Yes. So they are conscious of the fact that um, someone else, a third party, an, an independent third party, need to make, need to make checks and, and say 
uh, that you are right, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, even if uh, it's, um, uh, it's a commitment, they, they are all aware yeah. of the fact that um, today necessary. we need to do it. See? Okay. Mr. Volpi uh, previously said that the consortium represents a niche of the, ma of the leather market. Yes. But this is a good moment in the market for, the, for your leather because in the Green New Deal, biomass is so important, uh, bio-based chemical is so important, uh, tools that, use, uh, are you, that you are using since centuries, we have yes. seen. So maybe the certification could, could be also a leverage to let your uh, uh, values known uh, widely. I think so. Um, even if uh, um, our tanner is uh, um, produce vegetal leather not because it's fashionable at the moment, but because uh, it's a tradition for them, and uh, we, we are talking about uh, small tanneries, familiar businesses um, that continues this activity generation after generation. So. Um, it's a tradition for them. But in this moment, actually, um, I think the, um, the, the interest in, in, in the market is uh, uh, so oriented towards sustainability, circular economy, and all this, this stuff. And, uh, and this, um, I think this is um, a, a good moment for, for vegetal leather because uh, even is if it's a, a, a traditional product, um, it's a contemporary product at the moment. Yeah. So uh, I, I think we have uh, the, the, um, the activity of the consortium also on this um, um, production regulation and, um, and the, the, the promotion of the, um, of the trademark. Uh, is important at the moment uh, to, to help the tanneries, uh, the vegetal leather tanneries to, um, I mean, to be known uh, um, also on... Worldwide. On, 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 uh, yes, on different markets. Okay. Uh, we saw that uh, in, our, in your goals there are also promotion, for me, uh, education. Uh, COVID represented a, a stop to all the activities. Now, yes. what, what are you working at? Uh, so in these past two years, uh, of course, we had to stop. I mean, we are a, a, a consortium, a consortium of promotion. So these past two years have been quite difficult for us. Uh, we had to stop all our activity, physical activities, and uh, we had to um, to organize only online seminars and uh, this sort of virtual stuff. Um, so of course, we did that. But uh, we we hope to start again with um, with the physical activity because um, uh, we um, we have a tradition uh, um, of uh, um, um, training activities with uh, um, international fashion and design schools. We organize uh, uh, every year um, a program called Craft the Leather. Uh, with these international schools to uh, train the um, young designers and students of these um, fashion fashion uh, schools um, to, to train them about vegetal veg leather, to let them know the characteristics of the product and uh, also the place where we produce. Um, so we host them uh, every year for a week in Tuscany and they experience our leather district and uh, they have the chance to work with uh, um, with local craftsmen to to learn how to use vegetal leather in their productions and then they realize uh, uh, small collections of um, original vegetal leather products and uh, we usually um, um, show a contest here at Linea Pelle uh, with the results of their, of their work. So uh, this is an activity that is, has been um, stopped for these two years and we hope in 2022 we can uh, start again uh, with uh, new annual programs. 
And, and then uh, every year we have um, particular events and presentation and seminars in different markets uh, uh, that are interested, interesting for our uh, companies. Um, so mainly in Japan, in Korea, uh, in the Far East. Uh, okay. This is the place where the vegetable leather is more appreciated and so these are the markets that we um, particularly follow uh, as okay. a consortium. Uh, Sabrina, we are talking about international markets. E-Check is based in Milan, but it's operative uh, worldwide, uh, also abroad. And uh, by your point of view, which is the value of a scheme of certification like that? What, what the certification represents, what value represents for the tannery certificated? Uh, the value is that, uh, as I told, is very complete, and all this concept uh, uh, can be applied and are required not only in Italy but uh, worldwide. In fact, uh, if you work with any kind of brand, not only the Italian one, but they are many of them are international, they always need this kind of uh, topics uh, to be certified in a correct way. Uh, so even if uh, we have uh, some uh, uh, national <laughs> location, it is not influent to spread uh, uh, this kind of certification and uh, its contents. Uh, they, they have uh, many, many customers that are not Italian because they export, they export uh, all many of their leather and they are really interested uh, in have this kind of uh, topics uh, qualified and to have the supply chain qualified. They told before in the, data, in the Italian talk that they have, for example, uh, Japanese customer, uh, and so on, and uh, it's a very added value to give them this kind yes, of assurance. Sure. Mm -hmm. so I mean, certifications are appreciated all over the world. I mean, uh, and uh, even if they are based on, um, uh, how to say, Italian or European standards, Italian and European standards are Recognized. very qualified yeah. uh, and, and recognized uh, all mm. over the world. I want to add the fact that uh, when we control, for example, the management system requirements, the environmental, social and health and safety laws, uh, these are the Italian or the European one, which are the most strict worldwide. Uh, and very so it's very important <laughs> okay. because we work in a correct way because we are in Italy and this kind of laws are very strict and enforced here. Okay, wonderful. Uh, there's any question from the audience? No? So I thank, uh, thanks to Barbara, thanks to Sabrina, thanks thank you to everybody. you all. In the evening we have the last seminars here in the, at the Green Theater, so check the program. Maybe there's something more you can be interested to. Goodbye. Come on!